and we are. Here we go. We're back. <laughs> we're oh, we're back. back. We're Sorry, guys. Back. <laughs> That's that horrible. Creepy? Yeah, that was very creepy. Good. Um. Okay. Let's see if we are back. So I could go back into. Um, Get off your phone. There's people here watching us. No, there's not. There will be. Where? I can't see them. On the other end. Don't you other end me. No, what I want to see is um, the last thing be because I need to go back and find, you know, the comments. Because we're in the middle of a reading. Who is that? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. My phone just started going off. That's rude. Is it just me or so does it just I keep said freezing? To myself. See, we started cutting out. What a wonderful world. It's oh, look, there's people Anthony. back. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Hello people. They're oh, back. Sorry. Our internet is um, back not, up on the go again. Yeah, but it's not coping. So we're, we're cutting in and out. It's not as bad as last week. Hello, so, Eric from Newcastle. Hello. Now, here's the thing, all right? Because everybody is stuck at home and they can't go out over Easter, there is a massive overload on the You're internet. <laughs> and there's a voice from the We're having voices from America <laughs> telling us we're live, it says part two. Oh no. So is there anything you can tell us tonight, strange American voice? I think he's run away. He's, he has run away. <laughs> he must have gone back to oh, New York. God. Um, you called? <laughs> no, I didn't call. So we live out in the middle of the country. We live in the middle of Warp Warp, okay? So we don't have MBN or anything like that. So we are kind well, actually of. Actually, we do. We have wireless. We have satellite broadband. Yeah, but it's not working. Right. So I wanted to so, go back and look at everyone that had you know for us to be able to do the show we need everybody to get offline <laughs> all right so <laughs> we need all of you to get offline so we can do the show <laughs> hang on that doesn't work then they can't watch us that's right oh god this one's for rachel pratt all the way from the uk because she would love a coffee cup thank you for coming back for part two Rachel, you've got the mandala. I love this card. It's about meditation and harmony and ritual. Um, it reminds you that patterns often repeat themselves. So it's time for quiet reflection on where your old programming and patterning are repeating and hindering you in your life. Look for signs and symbols for a clue on how you may grow spiritually. Okay. The mantra is I live in the moment in harmony and balance. So this suggests to me and the... Um, the number on this card is 27, which is a nine vibration, all right? So it suggests that you're coming to the end of a cycle, Rachel, and you need to, you know, start putting some new programs programming in. Oh, did you find me some bunny ears? <laughs> they're not purple. Yeah, that's better. Happy Easter. What's up, Doc? But seriously, thank you, Jackie, for the ears. <laughs> I had a giggle. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> uh, so, Rachel, um, I know things are really hard, but it's it's time to actually, you know, move into a new way of thinking, a new way of being. It's time to evolve from the caterpillar to the butterfly, all right? Um. Your mantra is, I live in the moment in harmony and balance. So it's time to put some new programming into place, okay? 
All right, Gail Brockelman would like a rune, please. And a card. Nah, I didn't read that. <laughs> she says, <laughs> uh -oh, Oi. Got ya. Gail says, may I have a card and a rune, please? It's amazing that you do that. See, these new glasses are mine. <laughs> All right? They're like bifocals. So if I want to read anything, I've got to like stick my nose up in the air and look down my nose at you. So your That's rune, you. Gail, is like you. The rune of love. Oh. It's also the rune of the rippling brook or running water. Nice. So the power, the two most amazing powers on the face of the earth are love and water. Love has no bounds, it conquers all. And water, over time, can erode a mountain. Well, thank you, David Attenborough. Thank you for that. Now, today, I'd like to show you this oh. extremely rare species of purple-haired glasses <laughs> bunny rabbits. <laughs> Now, this rabbit only shows itself at Easter time. You can recognize it because of the writing on one ear if you look closely. <laughs> you can't see that can... on the ear. Don't you touch my ears. Don't you touch my ears. <laughs> now, as you can see, this bunny rabbit does not like having its ears touched. <laughs> Be quiet. You're horrible. Kale, you cut that's come out. Yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> Ten of spring. You're horrible. Let's go hunting rabbits. So there's a big St. Bernard dog here yeah. with Be quiet. It's frozen. Are we frozen? Not frozen on my end. Oh, I better go and light the fire. Are we still going? Hello, are we still going? Is there anybody Gail, out there? It's Gal, your card says it's you've been working too hard and the stress will soon become too much. Reach out to help from others, okay, and take some time to play and enjoy life. All right, because we've got the Saint Bernard with the with the brandy around his neck, okay? So it's time to save yourself. It's time to um stop giving so much you need to start receiving as well all right well we're not frozen here on our end so um let's go let's go let's go uh we're cutting in and out yeah i'm sorry about that i'm really sorry about that okay can i get someone to tell me if we're still no not frozen excellent thank you eric that's what i needed to hear Eric's from Newcastle. Would you like to give him a rune? And then we've got Tanya Dixon next. Eric from Newcastle. The rune that I have for you. No. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Our Easter bunny can be slightly eccentric. Now, Eric, the rune I have for you is red old. This is the root of communication and journey. So if you are experiencing a problem right now, it's time to communicate so that you can continue on your journey. There you go. Yeah. What's up, Doc? Yeah, let's go hunting rabbits. <laughs> Don't you <dare>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, seal. Yeah, but I'm trying to think. Was... Eric. Eric. How can I forget that? Eric. Stop. How can I forget that name? Eric. The seal card came out, which is about using your imagination and having trust. Um, it's this says you need to to um pay more attention to your talents and allow them to lead you to your life path. Remember, others' ideas are not always better. Allow your imagination and creativity to be part of your life and trust in your dreams. And your mantra is, I am an imaginative creator and trust in my dreams. That's for Eric from Newcastle. 
Lovely place, Newcastle. Did you know that? Have you been there? I've been called an arsehole. <laughs> a new arsehole. You mean you, someone is going to tear you a new, new <laughs> arsehole? I have been to Newcastle <laughs> and I've also been to Port Kembla. No, Port Kembla. It's Tanya Dixon's turn to have a reading. A reading. Oh, he says thank you. Mm. Yes, he is. His wife is leaving soon. That's awful. Oh, no. oh, Eric, I hope you're okay. Okay, but it sounds like by the seal that you have a very big talent and a big imagination and you do need to follow that. And if people aren't appreciating you, then, you know, they need to go anyway. All right. So. So just remember communication, right? Tanya, we have the Princess of Spring. So we have a crown on a book with a butterfly, which suggests, oh no, cushion. So, the monarch butterfly, where it always speaks to me of spirit, monarch butterfly. We have lots of them here. Creative opportunities that lead, that you feel passionate about are flattering your way. Personal growth and broadened horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. Okay, so it's all about um, being optimistic, being creative, being outgoing. Okay, so you've got to own that crown because, you know, that crown's got a butterfly on it. So you're transforming into, you know, a princess. Tanya, what's going on with you? Okay. There's some sort of secret desire. Do you want to pull a rune on that as well? Female energy. Female energy. Female energy. Oh. Be a princess. Own that crown. Oh. All right. Pamp yourself. Look after yourself. It's being handed to you on a cushion. Embrace it. Whatever that means. Rachel, I think we already did a reading for Rachel. Welcome back. Thank you, Maureen. We are back. Good evening, Anagamas Abru. Where are you from, Anna Gomez? Boo. Hello, Jess Ainsworth. How are you? Oh, we should give Jess a, a crystal card. I think Jess actually owns a crystal shop. She actually has. You may, maybe you want to put that in the links, Jess. Pretty sure Jess owns a fantastic crystal shop. Jess that's Ainsworth? Online. Yeah, that's online. Really? Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure of that. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I'm going to give her, Jess a crystal card. Why not? joining us tonight welcome jess Ooh, and it flipped that i love that oh flipper and the crystal that's come out for you tonight jess is so light all right i don't like light soda <laughs> you don't have to like light soda so light's all about it says here overthinking a situation will cause you to feel overwhelmed are you looking at a situation realistically and honestly Elders may offer wise words. The root cause of any unsettled feelings needs to be explored. And this is a time for action, not thinking. Okay. Get your thoughts in order. Watch your words. Write things down. Contemplate any proposals carefully and breathe deeply. Get some fresh air. Focus on balancing your third eye chakra. And the mantra is, I am in control and my life is in order. So Jess would know all about sodalite and the properties of sodalite. So she could probably actually interpret that reading for herself. Um, however, sodalite, you know, although not a rare crystal, is an extraordinary crystal. It talks about um, communication as well. Um, it's a wonderful... Did you just yawn at me? You're How could I yawn at you? I moved out of the camera and yawned and faced the opposite direction. You are terrible. I have a little heart here. Yes, I am terrible. A little satellite heart. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. It has bitches in it. Look. Hmm. She's got a pretty woman in there with purple <laughs> hair. <laughs> Don't be horrible. Oh, I actually turned around and saw the same picture. That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, what's up, girl? Uh, 
yeah. So just post your um, shop in the comments so people know where to get beautiful, amazing crystals. Hopefully I've got the right person. <laughs> yeah, I, I try it. <laughs> Sam Ray says, hi, I'm I'm new here. This so this looks exciting. <laughs> sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. Depends whether you can understand us and whether we're actually like breaking up or not. And um, well, actually no, we're not breaking up, are we? I think we <laughs> <laughs> I think we're still gonna keep doing the show for a little bit longer. <laughs> we're gonna try, but the internet's not helping. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Someone says hotspot my phone, and I did try that, but I'm technologically a bit spastic. So that is not going to happen. You are not technologically. But um, Sam Ray, I don't know where Sam Ray is from, but let's give Sam a card. I'm going to give Sam a Coffee Oracle card. What do you reckon? Because purple hair rules. Yep. Oh, wow. Sam, You in the Coffee Oracle pack, you have the angel card. And it's all about assistance and guidance and protection. So it says, if you've been worried over something or lacking hope, then this will now change. Angelic assistance is close at hand and it's on its way, whether it be divine intervention or an earth angel. You will receive help with your problems, ask for help or look up for assistance, no matter what the issue. And your affirmation is, I am always guided and protected by my angels. And that's a fantastic message to receive. Okay, Tracy Ferguson Johnson would love a card, please. Oh, Patricia Thomas loves your ringtone. What was that, by the way? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull a copy Oracle card for Tracy Ferguson Johnson, and one has absolutely fallen out, and yours is Bear. Medicine, protection, inner knowing. Trust your inner knowing. Inner potentials are awakening. Trust your inner voice. You are being asked to be brave and believe in yourself. Through solitary, quiet time and rest, you will know when to come out of hibernation and take action. By healing yourself, you also heal others. Be strong in your beliefs and lead others to taste the sweetness of life. Your mantra is, I, I am brave and believe in myself and my ability to heal and protect those I love. And the number on this card is a 10, which is a one vibration, which means that you need to embrace being a leader in this. So lead others, you know, to taste the sweetness, sweetness of life. Lead others, you know, um, to have that inner knowing and lead others to know that they are protected, okay? You know, the bear is one of my animal gods. You resemble that. <laughs> I asked for that. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen would love a message too, please. Did we give did we give Maureen a message? It's a message for you, Maureen. <laughs> Happy Easter, my dear. <laughs> you actually look like an evil <laughs> goat or something. That is so bad. Maureen, I thought we'd given you a message, but if we haven't, I'm gonna give you one now. There's still people out there. <laughs> Stop terrifying people. <laughs> <laughs> now they're terrified. They want to be terrified. Maureen, your message is paw print. Okay. Animal connection, honour and compassion. Um... You know, it's time to connect with your fairy friends. It's time to forgive and forget. It doesn't mean to just simply roll over, but, ha but perhaps sniff out. <laughs> I so had to curb myself then. Don't. What were you going to say? Well, what a dog sniff. <laughs> perhaps sniff it's out some assholes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> on the road again. Open the gate now. I'm on the road again. <laughs> I just can't wait to sniff some assholes with my friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> Maureen, that doesn't mean you. No, so... it doesn't mean you at all. <laughs> it's just a, a song that I was reminded of of a dog wanting to get out the gate. It's not about a dog. It's about paw prints. It's about 
you know, the prints that are left on well, your Well, why heart. couldn't they be pr- rich prints? No, <laughs> poor prints. It's Sorry, time to I'm forgive and forget. It doesn't mean to just simply roll over and mm. <laughs> sniff things mm. out <laughs> a little and look at the big picture. It doesn't mean sniff other assholes. That's not Well, I'm funny. certainly not going to sniff my own. <laughs> I know where it's been. Your affirmation is I forgive with abundant compassion and love in my heart for all. And the, the card number is it actually 71, which is an eight vibration, which is about your abundance is going to come in when you can forgive <laughs> and forget. <laughs> I really stuffed her up on this one. <laughs> forgive and let go. Poor Prince is about the imprints that happen to us. It's the imprinting. You know the the poor prints. You know it's not just about um, animals. It's also about you know those um, that imprinting that happens to us and causes us to have this programming, okay, which is, doesn't allow us to actually forget things. All right, so that's a, that's right. It's what she said. It has absolutely nothing to do with sniffing us. I'm not explaining myself very well, but everybody needs to know this. You know. You need to forgive to move on. You need to forgive and let go. If you don't, then you're stuck in this pattern of sniffing other people's assholes. <laughs> <laughs> but look, yeah, I suppose you got. At this point, you got to say, "Bad bunny, bad bunny." <laughs> you got to sniff out the asshole so you can forgive him. Oh, that was bad a bunny. Very bad way. To actually say that, there's no. I could let you be bad every now and again. I can't do it all myself, you know. Would love a card, please. Are you sure, Vesna? Are you game? It's a dangerous <laughs> night for a card. Very dangerous. Now, let's see how I can change this one. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Did my voice shake a little just then? <laughs> All right, there's no one. Oh, one has popped out for you. Get your antlers away from my bunny ears. And your card is the crane. All right, which is a very common. Stop that! It's about grace and spirituality and karma. And the actual number on the card is 34, which is a seven vibration, which is all about karma. It says a visit from the crane suggests the need to be to have proper focus in your life. Long life, health, happiness, wisdom, and good luck are associated with Crane in all endeavours. Practice justice for karma is at play. Concentrate on using your energy to nurture others on their path at this time. And your affirmation is, I focus on nurturing myself and others on the path to enlightenment. So take people with, take I'm you know, bunnies can be very ferocious. Oh, you're not <laughs> wrong. Have you ever seen Monty Python? They have very sharp teeth. You behave yourself or I shall throw the holy hand grenade of Antioch at you. Back off. So I shall count to three. I shall not count to two. <laughs> I shall count to three. God, you're horrible. Then I shall love the saying? holy hand grenade Sorry. of Antioch. Into our midst. This suggests, Vesna, that you are very spiritual and but you need to take people with you. Okay. Give people a hand up. Along the way, stop you keep your hand. That's it. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> don't make me snort. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Rachel says, Thank you, and it made sense. Yeah, keep up the meditate. Tating Rachel. It does lead somewhere for you. So it's a good thing to be doing. Why have I got like earmuffs like Princess Leia? That's not funny. Um, Susan Bloodworth, we haven't seen before. Rude and a card. Please. You first. I'm ignoring you. Oh, doing. 
The rabbits, emu. rabbits like, to, like to do. They do, they do lots of it. And it's funny that a rabbit should call the emu because the emu represents sexual energy. False rabbit, you're a false prophet. That's what you are. <laughs> I'm not a prophet. I'm not for profit at all. Mm, Susan, it's the card that's come up for you is birthday cake, which means you've got something to celebrate right now um, and give thanks for. I love this card. It has a beautiful message. It's also a number one vibration, so it's about being a leader right now. But it says that the lit candles on a birthday cake represent the glow of the moon and the smoke from the candles carry your prayers and wishes to the universe. Certainly a time to make a wish and believe that a that it will come true and it's a time of surprises gifts and blessings and your affirmation is i celebrate who i am and how far i have come today so if you haven't celebrated how far you've come or looked back at how far you come now's the time to do it um that's an amazing card so celebrate everything that has brought you to this point in your life okay Michaela Jones says water is linked to emotions and movement too, I've been told. So she she did take in what you said. And that's right, Michaela, it has. Do you want to pull her a room? Or did Yeah, no, we haven't we haven't pulled um <laughs> Yes. That's a room of strength. Beautiful. Be so, strong. And if Michaela knows all about emotions and love, then she has a lot of strengths. That's what I say. <clears throat> okay. We're still on. I see you both. Can you read me a card, please? Um, we need to do something for Helen Witten. Because I said so. <laughs> You're not going to do anything, are you? Helen Wayne. Helen Wayne's a long way off. I said Helen Witten, not Halloween. I really should have worn my hair and age. I think those ears look better on you than they do me. But you're kind of like an evil bunny, not a good bunny, just an evil bunny. Helen, your card is because Barty's not going to pull in it because he's being an idiot right now is a gorilla which is about stability security and family it says that you're looking for a security and a sense of stability in your life and this gentle giant also comes with the message that a humble heart is a way to find your true purpose in life and your mantra is i am blessed with a loving supportive family and that is a gift that rune says gifu and that means your family is a gift to you. And what what of the alphabet does it represent? X. The G. <laughs> I knew that. G for gorilla. La, 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 la. G for gorilla. La, la, la. Yeah. Awesome. Hmm. Wendy says, what have you got on your head? Yeah, what's that dog? It's got my rabbit ears. Um, Amanda McCracken. I love that name. Amanda McCracken. I knew, yes. I knew a McCracken once. <laughs> no. His name was Phil. <laughs> oh, no. Phil McCracken. <laughs> no. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> you know the worst thing about it is? I actually did know a Phil McCracken. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, he got teased so much. Amanda <laughs> <laughs> your card is the frog which is about growth and cleansing and new love and when it appears it could be time for a cleansing of negativity or toxic energy in your life and this can lead to growth or transformation just as the tadpole grows from the water to growing legs and being able to hop on the earth as well as swim in the water a new type of balance is achieved your mantra is i transition smoothly to a new way of being and the card number is 56, which is an 11 vibration, which is a master number. So please keep all your thoughts positive. So it's it really speaks about removing all toxic energies from your um, environment. 
from your surroundings and keep all your thoughts positive because you're in a um, manifesting mode right now and there's help from the guidance. <laughs> I'd love to smash those teeth out. Um, <laughs> this is your way to a new way of being. Keep those thoughts positive. So if you find yourself having a negative thought, then please have change it to a positive thought. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. You are banned. I will not have you back on here if you do that. Do not. Oh, oh my God. It's like working with children. <laughs> Shazza. Hello, Shazza. Would you like to pull a room for Shazza? I hope you understood that, Amanda. Sorry. There's a juvenile delinquent trying to. Male away. energy room for you, Shazza. And the hermit cards come out for you as well, Shazza. That means stay at home with your man, stay safe from the virus. <laughs> it means, hmm, it doesn't just mean that because the card says firefly, all right? So mm -hmm. the hermit also has another meaning about shining a light and a beacon, all right? Okay, it just it's not just about being a hermit. It's also about shining a light and showing others how to transform into the butterfly shining a light is very important especially when it's dark also is a number nine which means you're coming to the end of a phase okay the end of the hermit nine, phase it's 9 45. oh are we over time we're probably over time crap we're over time sorry you can't say crap on here you did bloody hell all right sorry guys we went over time um we got um okay all right so jess yes jess does i was right she owns luna lotus so please go check that out because and thank you for the crystal card so light is amazing yes my satellite heart is amazing isn't it it's gorgeous um, and it resonates as well. Yes, so if you're into crystals, um, please go over and see um, Luna Lotus. Um, she has some great stuff. I'm sorry that we have run short of time and we haven't got through everybody tonight. Um, I'm sorry that our internet is not great, so we're coming in and out, so that's bad as well. And I bless you all for actually sticking with us and actually supporting us, even though... You know we can't get through to you like we normally do hello joy joy hey trees trees um please come over to the connecting with clarity page i'm sorry we keep freezing i will try to come on live um during the day when it's not so busy because i think everyone's on you know watching netflix and stuff like that which is not helping okay Oops. And we are over time, so we need to get off here because we'll be in trouble. Um, okay. Love and light to you too. Do you know what I am? What? You're a really bad rabbit. That's what you are. I'm a stunned rabbit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you're an evil rabbit <laughs> i hope you all had a great easter yeah me too and i am going to try and come on to the connecting with clarity page this week um and do some lives hopefully in a quieter part of the day where we can actually get through and um you know we can have a chat see how you're going i want you all to be well and happy and safe in these times okay um that includes you Therese, Teresa. sorry we haven't got to, to a reading for you tonight okay so um stay safe enjoy the rest of your easter thank you so much for joining us and um we love um that you've been here and joined in our stupidity and fun good night everybody what are you singing tonight am i singing yeah you're singing what am I singing? That's what I just asked you. What are you singing us all out with?
We want to hear your lovely voice. Biddy, 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 biddy. That's all, folks. Biddy, biddy, biddy. That's all, folks. <laughs> no, what are we seeing? I don't know. What are you singing? What are you singing? What are you singing? I don't Do know. we have any requests for Michelle to sing? Come on. Come on. Joe, if someone's got to have requests for Miss Michelle to go and sing, <laughs> she's got to sing. I would need remedies to sing. <laughs> Yay! I got them back. I put them back. I have my. So what's the rabbit sing? Take me home. Country, Country roads. <laughs> to the <laughs> place. I belong. West Virginia. Mountain mama. Take me home. Country roads. I'm happy that we're, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be in the country <laughs> roads right now. I really am. I'm a country girl. Down on the farm. No, that's another song. Well, my thing. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> <laughs> Some John Denver. Yeah. <laughs> Bunny Trail is no such song. Johnny Young again. They want you to sing Johnny Young. Johnny Young. Yep. <laughs> no. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Then I'll send oh, all my, my loving, loving to you. you. Oh, my loving, I, I will send to, to you. you. <laughs> how off key can we be? Good night, viewers. <laughs> Good night. I don't know how to end the video. Love and light to you all. Thanks for being.